Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Believe it or not, faith intolerance is only a recent development when considered in light of America's more than 230-year history. Let's take a trip back in the time machine to April 25th, 1943. Kraft presents the Great Gildersleeve. (laughs) That's the signature laugh of Harold Perry, star of The Great Gildersleeve, a comedy that ran on NBC Radio from 1941 to 1957. And what do you think the show was about this particular Sunday? Well, Leela, there's nothing like the feeling when you've been to church on Easter. Because I always feel like a new man after church, but on Easter I feel even happier. Mm, I feel the same way. That's pretty bold by today's standards, but occasionally we still see something like this in a drama, usually historical. Here's something we don't see. President J. L. Kraft of Kraft Foods used valuable advertising time during the Gildersleeve program to say, The fact of the resurrection and the faith which it symbolizes have never been so significant to so many nations and to so many peoples in the world's history. Just imagine how the American Civil Liberties Union and the Freedom From Religion Foundation might squawk about this today maybe even organize a boycott against Kraft Foods. But despite today's intolerance, there are still a few creative people in Hollywood who are not afraid of spirituality. ABC's The Middle has featured several episodes with Christian undertones, and Adam Sandler often includes references to Judaism in his movies. It's true that none of these efforts are targeted toward winning converts, but they do show faith as a normal part of life. And that's not a bad idea. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. 